Hey everybody, Kevin here from Crackberry.com with a quick hands-on look at the new BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha B device, which developers are getting at BlackBerry Jam Americas this week. Uh, so we got it, it's sexy, I like it. We know the real deal is going to be even nicer. But more importantly, we get to get a, a closer look at BlackBerry 10 than we've uh, seen to date. Starting with the lock screen, which is pretty cool. So I've got it here. If I want to get into the OS, I can start to swipe up. Basically swipe to the top to jump in, but it's really fun how you can kind of like see what's underneath. Uh, also, you can go directly into the camera. You just push and tap down. Once that circle goes in, you're going to jump into it. You get an indicator of your incoming messages, you know, battery life. And if you have upcoming calendar appointments, you're going to see them there. So it's a very useful lock screen. We'll jump right into it. Another feature I really like is it come, brings you back to where you left off. You know, that's, about the, that's what the flow is all about here, right? You never quit what you're doing. You pick up your phone 200 times a day. So if you shut the phone off in your open apps and you swipe back in, that's where you are. Or let's say you're a message kind of guy. You have lots of messages all the time. You're in your inbox, you're the, the core of your BlackBerry hub here. If that's where you power down and power back up, that's what you're, where you're going to come back to. Uh, speaking of the hub, so a few changes here. So the hub's the new name for the universal inbox. It's very fitting because it's a lot more than a universal inbox. You have everything in here. So if you have incoming BBMs, text, um, you know, even Facebook, Twitter messages, LinkedIn, etc., it's all going to show up here. And you know, it's really handy. Like if you're in your, you know, viewing all your mailboxes, check this out. You swipe. You know, you're at the top. That's your newest message. But if I pull down actually see upcoming calendar appointments, which is a really cool feature. I think you can tap into them and, uh, and you have even get more details, right? You can actually see your emails grouped together by that subject. So, you know, they're bringing all the information to you wherever you need it. It's really cool. Uh, you can see here too with the UI, you have your three dots at the bottom. That's your, essentially your menu button now. Uh, it's your overflow. So anything that's, you know, not core to the UI that's going to show in the app, it's going to be in there and you're going to have everything you want. And it, you can see how it, it really stays true to the UI. Scrolling back to the sort of home screen, this is your minimized apps, which now have a, a name, Active Frames. So you can jump into an open app. It's going to be there. It's instant. Uh, BBM gets a big update here, which is really cool. You can see the, uh, the new sort of look they're giving to it. You know, really bringing info to you. You can see how they've kind of adopted the same UI in here. Uh, so they're not bur burying things now, and, it, and it's very dynamic, right? So if somebody posts a new picture to a BBM group, it's going to show up at the top there, which is really cool. And now about the flow, like let's say you are in BBM, your red light goes off, you, you know, you have some kind of message on the phone. What's really cool now is the gestures change. So what we saw before was you kind of swept from the right corner and pushed your way into the inbox. But now what you do is you start to, and when it's up there, you swipe in. So you can get a preview, and you can choose to stay in the application, or you can jump right into it. It's a little tricky for me on this angle in the dev alpha, but we're playing with it. It works really smooth when we've been doing it to date. So you can see the peak, you know, the preview, and choose what you want to do. And if you want to go in, you're in. Uh, other cool things. I think uh, this is really cool with the settings quick settings preview there. You can jump into all your core stuff. Uh, you know, jumping into it takes you into the full settings, which we're not going to show off today. Uh, but very cool. You can see BlackBerry Balance here in action. Also, you can see it's unlocked right now. Uh, very cool. Jumping in between Balance is that simple. Tap Work. You're now in your Work Apps. If you want to uh, jump back down to Personal, you can. Best implementation I've of that, like it's awesome. Um, taking a look at the active frames here. So a key thing, right? We've heard people miscall them names before, you know, kind of like, oh, it's like a widget, oh, it's like a live tile. But it's really a second state to the application. So, you know, thinking about BBM here, right? When you're in the message, it's dynamically changing and developers who are building apps can specify, you know, when the app is running in the background, what, do, what kind of information do we want to display that's useful? Um, so that's really cool. Uh, I don't know. I think is that a good preview, Blaze? What am I missing here? Uh, it's a lot of new stuff, right? I really love the way menus are done throughout apps. Um, 
you know, everything's super clean. I mean, this is uh, really, really coming together. Looks absolutely awesome. Looks awesome. They put this lip on here just, you know, to, to drive us a little bit batty. Yeah, you but, need to uh, be doing, using it with your thumb. With the thumb, yeah, but it's all right. <laughs> Uh, no, really cool. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to show off too much because I want to keep some surprises here and, and you're going to see more. But I think that's a pretty good first look of uh, the Dev Alpha B unit and some of the BlackBerry 10 sexiness coming soon. Kevin out.